We end tonight with the story of a wounded warrior. His injuries helped him discover a talent he never knew he had and led him to a world he never would have imagined. David Martin has the portrait of the artist. Like that. Peter Damon turns out about 30 paintings a year and sells them for between $250 and $1,500. That's not enough to make ends meet, but it has made him whole again. Painting with my left hook here. Too. After he lost both arms in Iraq. Having this skill that even able-bodied people find difficult was something that really sort of gave me a boost and sort of made me feel like I fit in more in the world. He was an Army helicopter mechanic working on a landing gear in 2003 when pressurized gas blew it apart, killing one soldier and gravely injuring him. I lost my right arm above the elbow, about three inches above the elbow, and my left about six inches below. He was a blue-collar guy who had been an electrician before he joined the Army. How am I going to make a living and take care of my family? I've always worked with my hands. Then, with this simple little drawing, a new future opened up. Well, that was done very uh, right after I lost my arm, so I was still at Walter Reed. What was it like discovering that you had this way out? It was kind of miraculous in a way. Something was telling me to focus on this, and everything will be all right. Notice he doesn't have a state-of-the-art prosthetic arm, just a plain old hook, which he finds works best. I'm still struck by your prosthetic which seems like a fairly crude device and what you can produce with it. It may be crude, but it's some of the best technology I think there is out there. This just feels like it's more of a part of me. He and his wife, Jen, run an art gallery in a small New England town where he showcases the work of local artists. With his disability check from the VA, he can afford to be a starving artist. It had a lot of the elements that I like to paint. You know, he is a man doing what he wants elements. with his life. Most people who saw you on the street would say, boy, that guy got a tough break. Yeah, I don't see it that way. Suffering an injury like this sort of has a way of making you focus on what's important in life. Late winter sunshine. He believes his best work is still ahead of him. But with his depictions of simple American scenes, Peter Damon has already produced his most extraordinary work. David Martin, CBS News at the True Grit Gallery in Middleborough, Massachusetts. True inspiration.